This is a video, uh, Visio 2010 Canvas Network Diagram. Uh, this is part two, uh, customizing network shapes uh, before preparing a diagram. So this is where we left off with uh, part one. Uh, one thing to notice here is that this page is kind of expanded beyond the size we really wanted it to. Uh, I'm going to go here to uh, page setup and there will be uh, on here to page size and we're going to go to predefined size instead of letting Visio expand the page as needed. And you see the page is no longer expanded there. Um, first thing we're going to do here is uh, select some shapes. I'm going to uh, insert another page here. I'm going to rename this shapes. And um, we are going to uh, go to the View menu, Task Pane, we're going to look at Shapes, and uh, I'm going to expand this. And we're going to choose from Network Shapes, and we'll be looking at uh, Network and Peripherals, US Units. Now we don't want to use anything too complicated here. We're not looking for uh, you know, precise uh, shapes, but we're going to look at using this uh, switch, which we'll drag right there from the stencil. And um, that'll actually be a couple of different components for us. And uh, also, uh, this one looks just about right. And then we're also going to uh, make use of this uh, dynamic connector. And so that'll be our, our starting point. And um, one thing we're going to do here is uh, this uh, is a modem in the stencil. We're going to take this and actually convert it into a UPS. So make that a little larger. And uh, you know, the first thing we'll do here uh, to add data fields is first we're going to remove the existing data fields that these uh, objects have. So we'll select this and um, right click and then go to data, define shape data. Now the first uh, three data fields here are hidden. We're not going to worry about those. We're going to start here with manufacturer. Now we're just going to delete our way through these data fields. And OK. Now you'll see we're not seeing any shape data for that. I'm going to go and do the same thing with this one. And shape data. Again, skip the first three. And OK. Now we're going to add uh, three data fields to all three of these objects. So just select all of them and define shape data. And go new. And we type in the name here for the, the label and the name. The name applies uh, in certain cells that we'll be working with later. The label is the thing that you'll see over here when you're listing the data fields. And uh, then we're going to add another one. And this one will be product number. And where we put the name here, we can't have any spaces. So skip the space. And then one more we're going to put in here is product description. Again, skipping the space. And 
and get that done. Now, if we look at individually any of these objects, we can see that over here, the data, and of course, they're all the same. Now, uh, we're going to take these shapes and we're going to put a formula in here for the location so that it will actually uh, provide the location of the uh, data closet that it's in. So in order to do that, uh, we right click and uh, we choose to uh, show the shape sheet for this item. And as we scroll down, we'll see here our shape data. And these are the items that we just added. And over here we have a place for the value. And for the value of location, we're going to select this cell. And we look here to the formula bar. And we're going to start typing. And uh, we're going to refer to um, information that's in the data closet. And the way we do that is we'll start typing the container. As we go container, you'll notice that we see some choices down here below. And the particular item we're interested in is container sheet reference. And double click on that. And um, this shows that uh, here we have a place for index and an optional uh, category. Uh, we're going to go with the index number of one, which is going to show the container um, that we're actually in. And we we'll close the parentheses on this. This is now going to give us a, a sheet reference. And since we want to refer to a cell uh, in that sheet, we're going to put uh, an exclamation mark. And then we're going to put uh, the data field, which starts with a P-R-O-P period. And then location. Okay. And then after we do that, we will check to accept that and get any error messages. So what this is going to do is, uh, and what this is going to do is um, give us uh, information about the container. So we won't have to bother labeling what data closet this is in. So we're going to close the shape sheet. Uh, before we do that, we're going to highlight this whole thing and hit control C and we're going to use the, that same thing on a couple other shape sheets. So now we're going to take this one, right click, show shape sheet, scroll down, the formula for location, control V. That shape sheet, and we'll come down to this uh, connector, which we're going to be using for a fiber optic cable. And, uh, we'll do the same thing here. Location value. Okay, now that we've um, done that part, we're going to duplicate this switch by just uh, selecting it, dragging it up there, holding down the uh, control key to copy it. And um, now this is going to actually become a patch panel. Uh, this item down below will be a switch. And then down below it will be a EPS. And so we're going to hold down the control key and select uh, this also. So both of those are now selected. We're going to add another data field to those two items. And that other data field is going to be IP address. So we'll go new. And this will be. Skip the space here. And uh, on this particular one, uh, we're going to put a default value for this. Uh, use whatever uh, IP address you want to, but uh, for, in this 
this case, we'll set it, and I'm just going to XXX. OK. And I can see how that IP address is showing up on those two items. And I'm going to add one other um, data field on this cable. And here I'm going to put in a cable ID. So again, we'll go to the um, data. And we will go to new. And this will be cable ID. And skip in the space. And here I'm going to put a default value. This is going to be a five digit number. So I'm just going to put in uh, five N's. And that'll be OK. Now we're going to uh, label these. And uh, we have a, a particular way of, of doing that. And um, what uh, I want to do in terms of labeling these is uh, just so we can see what the label looks like, I'm going to give these some uh, product numbers. This item right here is going to be a patch panel. And I'm going to call that. Um, an RDP 353 and then on this one my product number this particular switch is going to be a C3 G124 dash 38 P Again, we're just doing that so you can see what the uh, labels look like. So uh, this um, one, the way we uh, label this is we'll go uh, select the item, go to Insert Field, and in here we select uh, Shape Data. And the shape data that we're going to choose is the uh, product number. And you can see that our product number is now showing up. We're going to put this right over here like that. OK, and that's how we label our patch panel. Now we're going to uh, label our switch. I'm going to do this slightly uh, differently. We'll go and insert the field. But this time we're going to choose custom formula. And we're going to go and uh, Here we're going to add the um, first field, which is going to be the product number. And then we're going to um, go to a second line. So we're going to add a function here. And that chart. 10 is going to actually give us a, a line feed, so it'll take us to the next line. And another uh, and. And um, here we're going to put the uh, IP address. Now, uh, while we've got this highlighted, I'm going to uh, hit a Control C and copy this because we'll be using this again. And now we'll select this one. Do the same thing, go to custom formula, and paste, control V. And you can see on this one we didn't put a product number. I'm going to put one in here right now for the UPS, and that will be a CURT. A
Okay, this gives us some idea of the spacing on this. Now we're going to add one more thing, and that will be for our cable. And here we're going to insert uh, simply the cable ID. And we're going to do a work on that cable ID. I'm going to select the text block tool. And turn this text block this way. Put it up here alongside the cable. Like that. Okay. Then. Um, now that we have this uh, labeled, we've got one more uh, duplication to do here. And that will be move our patch panel up a little bit. And we'll duplicate this switch. It's going to become an EMU, Environmental Monitoring Unit. And here we will uh, change the uh, product number on this. And the product um, number here is going to be. Um, and so we'll be uh, uh, renaming this and the name for this one will be uh, NPRK see how it shows up in the label now we're going to go out a little bit on this and uh, reduce the uh, Font size on these a bit. They'll be growing a little better. I'm take these down to uh, eight point, and we'll left justify, and it should be pretty good. Now, one of the things we're going to do with these shapes is we're calling them all switches when in fact only one of them is a switch so we're going to go to the developer part on here and we're going to change the shape name and uh, instead of switch we'll make uh, this top one the patch panel and no spaces in there This one, we're going to go to monitor. This one here, we'll change the shape name to EPS. This one, I'm going to call this Fiber Cable. Okay, and um, uh, we'll leave it at that, and uh, we're going to do some other uh, characteristics for these shapes in the next video.